Hello, in this video we are going to set up and install the Ethereum client so you can build on Ubuntu and program using Solidity and create some amazing blockchain in blockchain Ethereum and smart contract applications, aka dApps, decentralized applications. So you obviously want to have Ubuntu, you want to have Linux, once you've got that, you want to just open up terminal. You can just click on this, type in TR, and it'll come up right here. And in here, you want to first do sudo apt get install software dash properties dash common. And I've just realized I spelled properties wrong. Should be IES. Click enter and you'll ask me for your password. As you will have seen when I was typing in my password, it wasn't actually appearing, but it is actually typing in. So just just bear that in mind if you are doing this for the first time using terminal, installing anything. That's just something that Unix based systems do in the terminal. So next command, you're gonna do sudo add dash apt dash repository repository looks like I spelled it correctly space ppa colon ethereum forward slash ethereum what I'm going to do is just extend this window out a bit so, so we can see everything so ethereum slash ethereum dash qt click enter and click enter again and this all of these steps will actually be pretty fast for me because I've already you know gone through the steps so anything that needed to be downloaded and installed is already done for me but if it takes a little longer don't worry it's just because you're doing it for the first time if you click up the previous command will come back and we're still doing a sudo add dash apt dash repository command and instead of doing dash qt it's just Ethereum, so get rid of the dash QT, click enter, enter again just to confirm, and now do this again and put dash dev at the end, click enter, and now put sudo apt dash get update. So this is update it, shouldn't take very long, might take a little longer because I've already done it. And just wait patiently. Now, just the final command sudo apt get install ethereum. And that's it. We've installed everything that we need to install. So you can either use gef, G E F, for the command line interface version of the client. So G E F, this will start up the command line interface and we can start using this to run our applications. I'm just going to close this down. And the alternative is a GUI based application, which you can download called Mist. And I'll sh show you where to download it. So if you just Google Mist browser, go to this GitHub link and go to releases. And scroll down where it says mist dash Linux, just select one of these is a 32 bit and a 64 bit version. I recommend the 64 bit version. So just go and go ahead, download that. This is just a more user friendly GUI alternative, and you can use that for testing your Ethereum blockchain applications, aka dApps. So that's it, really. Very simple stuff. If you have any questions, as usual, feel free to reach out. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.